guys, welcome back. This is now your boy again, Adam Sling. How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. To try as much as possible, guys, as you just support your boy, like this video, comment, share it on social platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Sling. And make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. I mean, well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. Firstly, guys, let's talk about Tonto DK because he is planning to undergo another plastic surgery of course for those of you who know Toto DK is your underwent the surgery few years ago and uh, that was immediately after she finalized a divorce from her husband church Hill, and she went through the surgery to repair some of her body parts and uh, she didn't even hide it she shared videos in fact she did a video about it and she posted it everywhere and now she's about to go for another one. She said, according to her, I have laughed a lot lately on the subject. If you surgery, you if you surgery, you shouldn't use waist strainer. Listing of people, you need to you need to waste eraser trainer to follow up on your labels. You need your gym to be your best friend too. I am personally la too lazy for that, so I hope for non-surgical body enhancement. Libo is simply taking fat from one part of your body to another part, mostly most lacking. You eat every day, so so far I'm gonna grow back, sis. I have had two libo surgery and waiting on my third. Well, nowadays, they will try as much as possible to confuse us. If they say, okay, this lady underwent a uh, plastic surgery, for example, to the DK underwent uh, plastic surgery, now she's trying to tell us, okay, what she actually did was to transfer fats from one part of her body that she doesn't want it to another part. Everything, as long as you are undergoing the knife, as long as you are sleeping there, they are doing you cutting or pulling or anything, you know, or anything in your body that automatically means you are doing surgery so don't try to paint it let, 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 not giving it English like a lipo come on man surgery is surgery like it's cosmetic surgery and you did it oh god will this dog just keep quiet for a second and guys uh, it's our money it's our body it's our time so she has every right to do what she pleases as long as it makes her happy. And anybody out there who is willing to take the risk, who has the money, who have that time, can do anything that she or he wants with his or her body. So it's yours, guys. You can decide to do it. And uh, I don't have anything against it. But one thing I have against it is that when you start promoting or advertising waist trainer, beauty product out there saying, asking fans, asking your viewers to buy it, that that is what you have been using. That is one of the things I do not agree with. Tell people the truth. Let them know that, you're okay, you underwent a surgery and then you needed to be constantly using the waist trainer to support yourself. It's understandable. And meanwhile, guys, so let's move over. Check out a young lady. I don't know if she's high, but I think you should listen to her. Uh, I know your family. For where? I know your family. What's the name of your village? I want west now. I want west for where? You feel you remember any any phone number where they will reach your people? I don't remember. Uh, you don't reach me. Never reach me. You don't leave. Uh, no, no, no. Call your number. Uh -uh. Uh, give me number. Uh, number. Uh, take, take, take phone. Dial Watching that video, guys. Do you think that young lady is high? Do you think she's high? Or maybe she's crazy or she's mad. Because according to the news, according, of course, they're going to say a girl ran mad. That is how it, it was written. But to me, I think that girl took some hard drugs. I don't see her like somebody who have, who have ran mad. I think she took hard drugs. 
But uh, I think everybody just need to be careful out there. These young ladies, oh, they are head, they hot. Just chill, guys. Huh? Relax. Try as much as possible to take good care of yourself. And uh, this is what uh, a guy wrote. <laughs> he said, I think we should normalize writing and keeping our ATM passwords in our wardrobe in case of death. You don't have to stress your family. Normalize writing your bank details, your phone password, your bank password, your card password. Sorry, guys. Everything password in case you just buy your family, your wife, or your kids, your brother and sister can easily go to your archive or your journal to pick all those things. So it'll be easy for them to access your wealth, access your money. Do you think that thing is that thing is right? <laughs> this guy is the kind of guy that wants to take all his brother's uh, uh, property. The other guy wrote, Nigerian women don't value intellectuals as lovers. Now grandma will go job. Many don't appreciate the sophisticated and creativity that comes with intellectual love. Some value, some girls are going to end up value into well, men who have brain, who can reason, who are well educated. <laughs> I said that grandma will go chop. Now grandma, you want me to chop? Nowadays, when you have vibe, it's what you can offer, bring to the table. That is what people are interested in. Ah, no big, 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 big grandma. No, 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 no. Don't die. I don't see me myself. I won't advise my own sister to go for any man that can just talk with big, big grandma. Meanwhile, nothing more apart from. Let's check all those uh, prostitutes' life. How many men per month do you think an average prostitute sleeps with? Do you think 50, 100, 200, 300? Can you guess, guys? Well, uh, this lady wrote, she said, This lady told her friend in the lodge that under five months, she had a target of 300 men and she fulfilled it. That means she had a target to sleep with 300 men and she fulfilled it. And that was, and that what got her the Lesos ROS 2019 and her and I, I, iPhone. A friend was now advising her to reduce the number and go for richer guys. I was in great shock. 300 men. Ha! Ah, she then told her friend that she has agreed to stay celibate for the end of this year to regain herself because she has acquired enough for now. She celibate. How? 300 men target this lady had and she fulfilled it. Some of others are shall we will go as a this night at least. I have like 20 target oh. 20 target men na target oh. <laughs> Please men be careful. Don't align you get go use your life to play uh to play tennis. And uh, this next one is coming from my lady. She said men need to know that the best way to get a woman's art on law is through the friend zone. I don't care why they hate it so much. Why would you want to hate always being friends with your with your uh, girlfriend? It's nice. It's healthy, guys. Try it one time. And uh, this one is another lady, guys. I'm, I'm just out here talking about uh, so many stuff people have written. This lady said, I have a date with a guy this weekend and he asked me what my budget was so he could pick a nice restaurant for us. <laughs> budget? Am I paying for the for my meal? Some of you are not understanding. To go from I want to take you out to what's your budget. He's a master student. I'm a working professional. Respectfully, paying for a meal won't break me. It's a silly comment, sure. And I don't think he should pay. However, I'm not for that going to write off a man I was interested enough in to talk to in the first place. You're hacking someone out. He should be able to pay for for both your meal once you since you are asking him, uh, asking her out, cheeky now. Why will you ask someone out at the same time you are asking that person what's your budget so that we pay for a 
pay for the restaurants? Is it because that we are always here castigating our women or we are here always glorifying white ladies that they're going to pay for pay for your meal? Is that why you want to just use that, that to bust your head? You start asking someone out and at the same time you want that person to pay for the meal or to pay for the date? No, at the first instance, since you are asking, you should pay. Maybe consequently, when you guys start dating, then she can then take you out on her own to pay. People will just be misusing something, so, eh? Come on, man. Then, guys, uh, check out this first NSAS couple. They met during the NSAS, and now they are getting married, guys. Is that not beautiful? She said, I'm usually not the nervous to make, I'm usually not this nervous to make a post, but... As it drawn close, I realized that God word, God's word is to be shown to the world. Well, guys, uh, that's actually really, really beautiful. During those times that we were crying as the Nigeria youth of our police uh, discrimination and protesting. And meanwhile, some people died. Why some people found peace and also found love. That's actually really, really nice. And meanwhile, the next one I want to talk about now is Bishop Oyedepo versus Nigeria Feminist. You know, a uh, few days ago, Bishop Oyedepo made a remark and uh, he, he said, if you are a feminist, then you shouldn't get married at all. Well, <laughs> it seems like uh, they have responded saying that uh, you should mind his preaching and uh, stay clear from talking about Feminist in Nigeria. So, according to the news, the Nigeria feminists come for Bishop Oyedepo over marriage comments. The Nigeria, the Nigeria Feminist Forum has condemned the founder of the Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop, Bishop David Oyedepo, recent remark on feminists and marriage. Recall, well, uh, let me just move past that. The group advised Oyedepo to focus on suggesting solutions to how the challenges confronting Nigeria could be subdued. As a Nigeria feminist told him to focus on preaching and also uh, uh, finding a way to improve Nigeria instead of talking about feminists in Nigeria. And uh, they gave a statement out there. Uh, we, of, uh, of course, uh, encourage you to read the statement. And uh, meanwhile, his wife, however, immediately supported her husband because uh, she wouldn't take anybody coming for her husband. She said, any woman or any woman or women organizing the attempt to question the position of a man in the family should be regarded as being under a demonic influence. God has said that just as the church is subject to Christ in everything, even so, Women should be in subjection to their in submission in subjection to their husband in everything. Feminist versus Christ versus religion. Nigeria. Meanwhile, guys, thank you very much for watching. Support your Adam's link. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.